This is how you can code a sticky command for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to make a sticky command, I just want to say that channel memberships are available on my channel. You can get basic tier, super tier, god tier, and custom bot tier. If you get the super tier or god tier, you will get access to pay spins, meaning you can copy and paste the code from my videos into your discord bot directly. If you do choose to buy the custom bot tier, you can actually get all of the previous perks, including pay spins, but me and my team will code you a per personalized custom discord bot so if any of this seems interesting to you go ahead and click the join button next to my username or just go ahead and click the link in the description and with that let's go ahead and get started all right so before we start just make sure you have mongodb set up if you need to know how to do this go ahead and watch the mongodb setup guide in the description below um, but go ahead and go to your schemas.js go ahead and create a schema called sticky schema.js and in that it should look like this i'm not going to go ahead and type it out because i already have it all but just go ahead and create a sticky schema.js within your schemas.js and go ahead and make it look exactly like this if you need to go ahead and pause the video to do that after doing that we're going to go ahead and create the stick command so we can go to moderation and we can do stick.js in here we're going to go ahead and define a few things so we can do const we're going to do slash command builder we can do embed builder we can do permission flag bits and then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js just like that now we can say const sticky schema equals require and in here we're going to do dot dot slash dot dot slash we're going to go ahead and get our schemas and then we're going to get our sticky schema file just like that now we can go ahead and do module dot exports we can say data and we're going to do new slash map builder just like that we're going to go ahead and set a name so set name and this is going to be stick we can set a description just like this for the description we're going to say creates a sticky message in the current channel just like that we can go ahead and add a string option we're going to do option arrow function option dot set name for our name we're going to get our message just like that we can set a description for this option and that is going to be the message you want to stick to the chat just like that and then we can do that set required and obviously this is going to be true because we do need a message and we can add a number option do option arrow function option dot set name and for the number option that is going to be called count and we can do dot set description and in here we can say how frequently you want the sticky message to be sent just like that we can do dot set required and we're going to make this false because we are going to have a default count and we can do set default member permissions just like that we're going to do permission flag bits dot manage messages just like that then after that we can do dot set dm permission we're going to set this to false just like this we can add a comma we can come down here async execute we will do interaction we can go ahead and open this up we're going to do let string equals interaction dot options dot get string for the string we're going to go ahead and get our message string just like that and we can do let amount equals interaction dot options dot get number for our number we're going to get our count and we're going to set that to six if there is no count now we're going to go ahead and make an embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder for our embed we're going to do a set color that is going to be blue we can set a description and for our description we're going to just go ahead and pass in string and then we can go ahead and set a footer so you can do set footer we're going to do text and we're going to say this is a sticky message just like that and we come down here and do sticky schema dot find one and we're going to go ahead and get our channel id which is going to be interaction dot channel dot id async and then in here we'll do error and data and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to say if error we're just going to go ahead and throw that error just like that and we're going to say if no data we can go ahead and open this up we're going to say let msg equals await interaction dot channel dot send and we're going to go ahead and send our embed so we can do embeds and embed just like that now we're going to go ahead and do sticky schema dot create just like this we're going to open this up we're going to do channel id for that channel id we will get our interaction dot channel dot id we do message and we'll do string then we can go ahead and get max count and that is going to be amount we can do last message id for that we can do msg dot id just like that then we come down here and say return await interaction dot reply we can say content and in here we can say the sticky message has been set up just like that and we can make this informal just like this now down here we can say else we can open this up we can do await interaction dot reply and we're going to say content and we can say you already have a sticky message set up within this channel please do slash unstick to remove it and then try again and we can also make this informal just like this 
All right, so now we're done with the stick.js command. So now we can actually go ahead and make the unstick. So we're going to go ahead and copy everything. We're going to go to moderation and we can do unstick.js. In here, we can go ahead and paste everything and we're just going to go ahead and change a few things. So the first thing is it's going to be unstick and we're going to go ahead and change our description to unsticks, a current sticky message just like that and then we can just go ahead and remove both of the input options just like that we can go ahead and keep everything else in here we're going to go ahead and remove the variables at the top and we're just going to go ahead and delete everything in here as well so we're going to start off by doing const data equals await sticky schema dot find one and in here we're going to get our channel id and that is going to be interaction dot channel dot id and we're going to say if no data we're going to open this up we're going to say return await interaction dot reply in here we can say content and we can just go ahead and say there is no sticky message in this channel just like that and then we can go ahead and make this informal just like this and we're gonna say else and we're gonna open this up as well we can say try we can open this up we can say await interaction dot client dot channels dot cache dot git we're gonna do data dot channel ID and then we can do dot messages dot fetch data dot last message id and we can say dot then we're going to go ahead and do async in here we're going to say m then we can go ahead and open this up and we can do await m dot delete just like that then we can say catch and we're going to open this up and we're just going to say return just like that after that we're going to come down here and say sticky schema dot delete many we're going to open this up we're going to say channel id and that is going to be interaction dot channel id and then we can do comma async and we'll do error and data and we can go ahead and open this up. In here we're going to say if error, we're just going to throw that error. We're going to say return await interaction to reply. And for our content, we can go ahead and say the current sticky message within this channel has been deleted just like that and we're also going to make this informal after that we are done with the unstick command so now we're going to go ahead and move over to our index.js file and we can go ahead and actually get started with the sticky message itself so the first step is to actually define the sticky schema so we can do const sticky schema and we can do equals require and here we're going to do dot slash schemas slash and we're going to get our sticky schema just like that now we're going to go ahead and do client dot on we can do events dot message create and we can do comma async message we can go ahead and open this up in here we're going to say if message dot author dot bot we're just going to go ahead and return and we can say sticky schema dot find one in here we're going to go ahead and get our channel id and that is going to be equal to message dot channel dot id then we can go ahead and do comma async error and data and open this up as well in here we're going to go ahead and throw our error so if error we're just going to throw that error and we're going to say if no data we can open this up and just return we're going to say let channel equals data dot channel id just like that then we can say let cached channel equals client dot channels cache dot git and we're just going to do channel just like that and we can make an embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder we can do dot set color and that is going to be blue we can do dot set description and for this we're going to go ahead and say data dot message just like that and we can go ahead and set a footer and that is going to be text and for our text we can say this is a sticky message now we're going to go ahead and say if message dot channel dot id equals equals and we'll say channel we're going to go ahead and open this up we can say data dot current count plus equals one just like that we can do data dot save we come down here and do if data dot current count is greater than data dot max count we can go ahead and open this up as well we can say try and we're going to open this up await client dot channels dot cache dot git we're going to get our channel we're going to do dot messages dot fetch we can do data dot last message id and then we can say dot then and we can say async m we can go ahead and open this up with an arrow function and here we can do await m dot delete just like this right under that we can say let new message equals await cached channel dot send and we can go ahead and get our embeds and we can go ahead and get our embed as well and we can do data dot last message id and we're going to go ahead and set that to our new message dot id just like that we can say data dot current counts 
and that is going to be equal to zero. And then we can do data.save just like that. Then to just finish off this try right here, we can say catch, open this up, and we're just gonna go ahead and return. So one more thing before we actually restart the bot. So first of all, make sure you spell permission flags bits correctly in both the stick and unstick files. And secondly, just remove the await from this try here. It should say try interaction.client.channels.cache.get. No await here, I did accidentally put that in. So just go ahead and remove that. After doing that, you are gonna be good to go. So just go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. Over in the Discord server, we can test this out by doing slash stick, just like that. I'm gonna just say test and I'm gonna leave the count blank. As you can see, it's gonna go ahead and say the sticky message has been set up and it's gonna go ahead and send the first sticky message. And I'm gonna go ahead and send a few messages right here. And I believe if I send one more, yep, it's gonna go ahead and delete that message and send a new one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do unstick just like that. And as you can see, it's gonna say the current sticky message within this channel has been deleted. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set this up again. And I'm just gonna do test. And for the count, I'm gonna do one. If I send one, two, as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and delete that message and send a new one. And it's gonna go ahead and keep working. So that's how you can code a sticky message for a discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.